guys, I'm back for another plan with me. Um, so this was my last week's spread using the um, espresso kit, but this week I'm using my uh, my own deluxe kit. It's called Sophia, and um, I'm just gonna take it out and show you guys what is included. So you get the nine checklist box headers and littles, um, text deco and icon deco. Bottom washi, top washi, nine full boxes, and um, quarter box, hat, and half boxes, and wa not washi, glitter headers, and um, checklist flags. So those are the seven pages you get in the deluxe kit, but I also have a mini kit, which is the first four pages that you saw. So the first thing I like to do is always put down the bottom and top washi just because you know it's always going to be there and nothing ever gets in the way. So I do put that in and I fill in the dates. And um, from my last video I did mention how my stickers, um, they do cover the full um, dates at the top of the recollection planners which is what I really like. Most shops I feel like their date covers never really fully cover. Um, the recollection ones because I buy the Erin Condren ones and they don't really fit but my Erin Condren stickers actually fit the recollection planner so um, it's a really like nice thing to have okay so right here I'm actually trying to look for any um, Asian food type stickers like spring roll stickers or something because we went to a restaurant that uh, day for lunch at a restaurant called Bedard so that's what I wrote down I'm just trying to figure out if I want to use a full box or like a checklist flag or something so that's why I'm just a little back and forth but I go with a check checklist flag and I put it like a little indent just to like put it under the, the box that says Bredard because I'm listing what we had at the restaurant but um so I wrote what did I write um spring roll avocado smoothie and macarons and then I got like a little green boba drink to point out the avocado smoothie because I love those. Those are like my favorite things at Vietnamese restaurants. I always have to get an avocado smoothie. Um, but yeah, I didn't like the way it looked. It just looked a little funny. So I did take that off and then I put down a full box in the next one to let it dry a little. And then I cover it up with this yellow full box. And see how indecisive I am. I'm always taking things off like back and forth. Which is kind of bad though. If you use the undo too much, the sticker starts to lose its stickiness. So you kind of have to be careful with how much you use it. But I'm always indecisive. So things always move around in my planner. Um, yeah, I didn't like the way the boba sticker looked on the left side. So I had to remove everything. And then I put it on the right side. And then I also didn't like the, how there was a gap underneath. Like above the word macaron and under the word macaron so I was trying to cover up that gap and um, I put a little boxer to cover up the green header that's already on there and of course it's always a tradition every time we go to Bredard I always stop by this nail uh, polish store next door called the Beauty Zone because they have freaking cheap nail polishes there um, it's like a wholesale Vietnamese nail polish place that I always go to so yeah we always go there and then um, I just wrote down my to do's um, for that day so that's all my to do's that I had to do related to my Etsy shop so I was just writing down like the kits I was working on and what I need to list or work on photos for the listings and such like that um, and oh and then charge the Apple mouse that's the worst thing about iMac like I love my iMac and everything but I hate that the charger is underneath the mouse so when I'm in the middle of designing or something and I need my mouse and it runs out of batteries I have to stop everything I'm doing and just flip the mouse over and charge it because the charger hole port is like under the mouse so you can't even use your computer really if you need to charge your mouse so I had to remind myself to charge it while I was sleeping that night but yeah so uh, we went to a Mexican restaurant that night and then I move on to the next day I'm like blabbering on 
Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, and I had to finish the Joanne kit. So I did the Joanne Erin Conjuring kit on Monday. And, um, and then I had to finish the Joanne kit for the Happy Planner and the Personal Planner um, on Tuesday. And work on the mermaid listings. I love those little mermaid activity stickers. They're so cute. But um, they do take a long time to like cut out the background and you know make the cutouts and design it like it's it's easy but it's tedious I guess so I painted my nails that day so that's the blue color that I am wearing on my nails right now and littles what did I write bye everything <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, um, that was the day I discovered Wish. I mean, I heard people talking about that app, but I never downloaded it. I was always on AliExpress, so I downloaded Wish, and then everything is like insanely cheap on that website, or the app, I guess. So I was going crazy, and I was just adding everything to my like cart. So that's what that was. And then I used a um, Fox and Cactus sticker that says... Um, shopping actually no it doesn't say shopping it says oops and um, the little girl is like holding her cell phone with a money sign on it so I thought that was perfect because I was just adding everything to my cart it was terrible <laughs> and I do like a little mini page flag and it says payday and then that's also the day I started watching Big Brother um, I kind of liked it but it's it's such a long season. I was on a Big Brother binge for that week, so um, I just had it playing all day long, every day, and it's it's a very long show. But um, yeah, then I move on to the next day, and I used a really big Tinta wash your hair sticker, and I just put it in the full box because. Um, I think like if I don't have much going on that day I try to just cover up as much as I can of the white space so that's what I did but I don't wash my hair every day so I remember I told a friend that I don't wash my hair every day and she thought I meant I don't shower every day and then I was like no that's so gross yes I shower every day I just don't wash my hair every day but she didn't like get that concept and so I was like oh god like I hope she doesn't think I'm dirty or something <laughs> but yeah I, I wash my hair maybe like every three days but um, because I have psoriasis my head gets really itchy easily so it's really great when I do get to wash my hair because it feels so good to just wash all that like flake stuff off because it's just, it sucks having um, psoriasis, you know? Um, yeah, sorry, I'm just ranting so much in this video. But I put down the mermaid sticker because I still had to finish designing that. Like I said, they take forever to design. And um, then I put that little like dead um, munchkin sticker there because I was so tired. It's a lot of work for something that's so, like it looks so simple, you know? Yeah, so I put that sticker down and I think uh, yeah, it lost its stickiness because I kept moving it around. So then I had to put a little like permanent adhesive there to stick it back on. And um, I wrote, there's too many mermaids because that stuff takes forever. <laughs> and then I cover it up with a little like decorative washi from the kit. Oh, I guess not. I took it out. And then um, a little quarter box that says order matte paper oh, because I was running out of paper. Actually, yeah, I, I was out of paper. I couldn't even fill my orders anymore. <laughs> so I ordered more paper for that. And um, just a little chores for the day, I guess. Wash dishes and look up meal prep recipes. And then I didn't even notice that I wrote tuna on a TV little sticker. I think I change it later, but I made tuna for dinner, but I put it on a TV sticker. And I'm so like out of it that day. Um, and then I put down an appointment sticker for my doctor's appointment. Um, and then this part, I didn't really like what I did. It was a little weird. I used a little um, uh, 
small checklist flag no not checklist flag just a small flag in general and because of the white shopping cart you couldn't really see it so I was trying to put a background behind it but it wasn't big enough to really show it so then it was just sticking out and then it just looked weird and then the Costco word is crooked and I don't know I just didn't like that area but I left it out of this because I didn't know what to do so I just left it like that and then um, I went to Aldi because I'm on a keto diet which is like a very low carb diet and um, I found ice cream at Aldi's that is has like zero sugar so I was like yes so I got that I was so excited I've been really bad eating like my boyfriend's ice cream and that's not keto friendly at all so I was really excited to find oh there it is I found the tuna sticker that was wrong so I fixed that but um, and then since we went to Costco I bought some of that like shrimp marinade that they have and then I just made shrimp ceviche with some like avocados and onions and tomatoes so that was really good and super keto friendly of course All right, here I'm messing around with this half box, trying to put it down um, vertically, and I'm looking for a laundry sticker and seeing how the laundry sticker would fit in there. This was a frustrating day because um, Thursdays we also vac vacuum every Sunday and Thursday we vacuum because our Klikai is like a little husky and she just sheds her fur everywhere. So I believe when we were vacuuming, she, you know how dogs don't like the vacuum cleaner. So she jumped on the bed and then I didn't really think much because like she likes to be up high and like bark at the vacuum and I left her on the bed and then later like we came back and we saw like a big pile of pee on the bed and I was so upset with her um, so then I wrote Mia peas it, was, it said Mia peas on the bed but I covered it with stickers with a little like annoyed sticker from once more in love and then a little doggy sticker so it looks like she's staring at the dog but it says Mia peas on the bed and then a little washing machine sticker and then I write down wash bed sheets yeah that was really frustrating so ever since she did that um, I do not allow her on the bed anymore she usually has been sleeping on the bed with us but I was just really upset so I was like nope you are not on the bed <laughs> you're not allowed on the bed anymore um, and then a tiny little bit left of white space so I just put a little Etsy and to do sticker there and I wrote finish mermaids of course because that I mean, what it took me like three days to finish the set of mermaids yep um, it just I mean designing is one thing but when you have to start making the photos for the listings and stuff and then actually uploading the listings takes a while too so yeah you know life of an Etsy shop owner you know <laughs> and then Friday I list the mermaids of course and I had a sale this past weekend so that's what I did and then I put down a to-do and a heart checklist box. Um, I don't think we actually meal prepped, did we? No, unless, oh actually, I meal prepped for myself, but my boyfriend and I did not meal prep together. I just made a bunch of salads so I could have that ready for lunch every day. Um, it was pretty good, usually I'd make like a strawberry um, salad with goat cheese and strawberry vinaigrette, but um, the strawberry vinegar isn't keto friendly so I had to just use ranch and it was a little weird but I am think I'm used to it by now. <laughs> um, and then Marge had a bunch of giveaways on her Facebook group that day so I like entered in all of them of course so I had to make a little um, box for that because that was exciting. And then we got Pokey and Boba. And one of my favorite um, boba shops in the area is Ding Tea. So that's what we got. Alright, and on Saturday, um, I do have um, like doggy playmates at our apartment, and it was one of our doggy friend. Um, mellow it was her birthday that day I think she turned two so um, she invited us out to the dog park uh, 
um, for a little birthday celebration. She bought a cute little cake and had all the puppies share the cake. It was just so adorable. And then I had the perfect little poodle like dog sticker, so I put that there because she is a little white poodle. Um, so there was that. And what else did we do? Oh, yeah, I put down the shopping sticker and then I yanked it up and I ripped the little corner off. That's right, we went shopping that day. So we're going to a wedding in two weeks and I needed some shoes for the dress I just bought. So I went to Target to look for some wedges, but they didn't have any. So then I went to a mall and I actually found some shoes. So that's, it was exciting because I have a problem with my shoes. Like I can never get the shoe to stay on my foot for some reason. Like the way I walk, I guess, my feet always comes out and I can't get it to stay. So wedges are a no. Um, it has to have a strap because that's the only way to keep my foot in the shoe. So yeah, I was really excited that I found I put I found my shoe and then I was like, wait, there's two shoes in there. I forgot to make room for the S. So yeah, that was a little fail. But um, I used a little munchkin sticker there. And um, just a random like weekend sticker on the bottom because I forgot to make room for the weekend banner. And we cleaned our fish tank um, we named him Bruce he's a little beta fish and I'm so like surprised that he's still alive it's kind of funny cuz you know I feel like you don't really expect a fish to live that long unless you have a real legit aquarium which we do not we had him in a tiny little half a gallon tank that you buy from like pet store and he survived in there for over a year and he survived our move too from Seattle and we drove all the way down to Southern California and we put him in a cup and he was fine in the cup for a week or so and then we moved down here and we got him a bigger fish tank but yeah I was really surprised that he's still alive just because um I don't know I feel like maybe people who take care of their fish probably will have better luck but we kind of just leave them there <laughs> that sounds so bad but um yeah we, we clean his water and stuff but it's not super crazy or anything anyways sunday um i went to the dog park because we had a klee kai party it was another dog friend's um birthday so we went to that party and it was extremely hot that day um in southern california you know it's the desert it's always gonna be hot but that day was really hot um, and I wrote down meal prep but we ended up not meal prepping that day we meal prepped on Monday but uh, yeah I put that sticker and then I put another little dusting um, sticker it's one of the mermaid stickers for my shop because like I said earlier we uh, vacuum every Thursday and Sunday because of my dog's fur everywhere. And I put down a Big Brother sticker and a little Miso sticker with her popcorn because I was still binge watching Big Brother. Okay, so um, I move on to the sidebar. And I feel like with the sidebar, it's kind of just my way of filling up the empty white space because I never really need whatever I put on the sidebar. It's kind of just like decorative, I guess. So I just fill it up with a little picture of my dog. And then um, I'm trying to cover up like the white space to just make it look cleaner. But then I realize I need to put down the stickers first before I put that one over. So I kind of like remove everything and put it down. So I put down the goals header and then like the weekly tracker and a habit tracker as well a, as a full box. And um, I kind of just put like what my goal was for each day of the week. And um, like I said, I just fill in the sidebar just to cover up the white space, but I never really used it. So it was more like a decorative thing. Um, but yeah, I just put in like my Etsy goals and then the sale on the weekend and the vitamins. So I put a little um, vitamin sticker on the habit tracker and then I just write in I survived my first plan with me and that's regarding the last week's video and um, you know just 
mem remembering that it was my first video, I guess. <laughs> um, but that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me using my Sophia kit. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!